He helped me. You see, I may not look like it, but I'm a very special person. I'm the world's calmest man, clinically. Nothing disturbs or elates me. I found this out when I went to the doctor for a tetanus booster. The nurse accidentally jabbed me with the needle right there above my eyeball. I was told later that the same nurse had done this to people before, except I was the only one who didn't scream. The doctor examined me. Then she called in more doctors and they did some tests. I was going in for so many tests that I lost my job. But it turned out that I'm a physiological anomaly. I'm permanently calm. Only one person in every three billion is like me. Actually, no one is like me because I'm the calmest. For 30 years, that title was held by a woman in Mauritania, but she died. Now I don't have a job, per se, but I do get regular, substantial checks from universities and drug companies paying me to stay calm. I'm the yardstick by which our understanding of composure is measured, a sort of atomic clock of calmness. You might find this hard to believe, but it's even a tax write-off. I pay no taxes, not even sales tax. I guess the government doesn't want me getting the urge to move to Russia or France 